It started as a whisper, a murmur of dissent that reverberated through the alleys and sewers of the megacities. The voice of a few became the voice of many, until it was a chorus that could not be silenced. They were the forgotten ones, the disenfranchised, the oppressed. They saw the truth of what the government had become, the tyranny that they had imposed on the people. The rebels knew that they were outnumbered, outgunned, and outmatched. But they also knew that they had the will to fight, the will to stand up for what was right, to take back what was rightfully theirs. The government was aware of the rebellion, of course. They were not stupid. They had eyes and ears everywhere, listening for any hint of insurrection. But they had grown complacent, secure in their power. They never thought that the rebels would be able to mount any kind of meaningful resistance. They were wrong. The rebels had a plan. They had been working on it for months, maybe even years. It was a risky plan, one that relied on subterfuge, deception, and a willingness to sacrifice everything. They struck first, before the government had a chance to respond. They hit the power grids, the communications networks, the transportation hubs. They targeted the elite the ones who had everything, who had grown fat on the backs of the poor. The government fought back with everything they had. They deployed their military, their special forces, their most advanced weaponry. They used drones, robots, and cyber warfare to try and crush the rebellion. But the rebels were not deterred. They fought back with cunning, with strategy, with the kind of tenacity that only comes from desperation. They had nothing to lose and everything to gain. It was a war of attrition. Both sides suffered heavy losses. Entire cities were reduced to rubble. Millions died. But the rebels never gave up. They fought for their families, their friends, their way of life. They fought for a better future. One where everyone was equal. Where everyone had a chance to succeed. And then, finally, after years of bloodshed, the rebellion won. The government was overthrown. The tyrants were deposed. The rebels emerged victorious, triumphant, and free. They celebrated in the streets, their weapons discarded, their faces beaming with joy. They hugged each other, wept with relief, and dared to hope for a better tomorrow. But the celebration was short-lived. In the aftermath of the war, the rebels discovered something that shook them to their core. Something that they had never suspected, never imagined. The government had not been the only enemy. There were others, hidden in the shadows, waiting for their moment to strike. Others who saw the rebellion as a threat to their own power, their own agendas. They were not human. The rebels had fought against something far beyond their understanding. Something alien, something incomprehensible. Something that had been manipulating the government, using it as a pawn in a game that had been going on for centuries. The rebels had won the battle, but the war was far from over. They knew that they had to keep fighting, keep struggling, keep pushing forward. They knew that they had to be vigilant, to never let their guard down, to always be ready for whatever came next. The rebels had thought that they were fighting against a corrupt government, but in reality, they had been fighting against something far more insidious, far more dangerous. They had been fighting against the end of everything. The rebellion was over, but the fight had just begun.